sometimes for one to keep their sanity they have to continuously pray I have no idea what the rest of the world does what my atheist bullies do oh yeah that's right they can smoke medical marijuana the comforts of the world oh well do you think what would Jesus do do you think that Jesus made God's earth possibility it's a plant <laughs> and God's cocaine is a plant too hmm I wonder right. um so I had to continually pray up uh, that I'm constantly uh, being attacked not only by pretend a lot narcissists, but then he tells his whole church today, because it happens to be Sunday, and he tells, so that's a congregation of 20 people believing all his lies, you know, like, what really happened and what he makes up. What? You know, I have no idea what he could be making up, you know. She's living with a girl, I don't know what they're doing. Oh no! Probably she might get harmed again. Like she always makes up getting harmed. I don't know what's going. I don't know what he would have said to them. So I had to keep. And then he has his atheist friends. And then whoever else will listen to him. The woman from France, and so on and so on and so on. He has. Um, so-called friends from Reading who didn't see him maybe 40 years, you know? Still has them, too. Like, my husband... And I, yeah, narcissists don't have... pretty much, like, re my husband certainly doesn't have any friends, but... pretend a lot narcissist, uh, really, really, uh... is a real good liar. Well, my husband and him were opposite, where... He needs a person around, and he, he's really, really, really uh, annoying. Whereas my husband was a loner and didn't have anyone, and no one could stand him, really. But his motto is, I hate people. Now, pretend about narcissist is opposite, but he'll, like endure like volunteering at the book sale and volunteering here and there at the food banks and just to be around people but he wants to talk to you for hours and and tell you how awful his life was and and you know and never ever got over i mean i can't really I, it's really hard for me to say that a narcissist is hurt in any way because of how much they hurt me they just put they they just mirrored all their hell onto me. So how how are they hurt? But uh, and I hate the motto hurting people hurt people, and that's a famous uh, Joyce Meyer. It's not Joyce Meyer heard it from somewhere, but then everyone says, well, I heard that from Joyce Meyer. Well, Joyce Meyer is a great speaker, and Joyce Meyer hopefully repented of um, her prosperity gospel that I never ever looked into, and I actually should it's like. Yeah, I can just Google it now. I mean, I'm curious. Did Joyce Meyer repent of her prosperity gospel? That John Heggie, Kenneth Copeland, I can't cope with. Carefully Dollar wants your dollars. Frederick Price has a price. Okay, all those are definitely prosperity. And the one, um... Rick, uh, Richard, there's an old man and a son, um, and I didn't watch him for years, but uh, I'll remember it later, um, Richard was his son, um, Oral Roberts, <laughs> so if you have a dirty mind, then what's another name for Richard, okay, <laughs> Um, but, uh, so, you know, you can make, you can, uh, <laughs> all right, um, so at any rate, yes, um, 
Uh, that would be nice if uh, Joyce Meyer actually repented and actually helped out, like, homeless people I've seen in the street that really need it. And, um, thankfully, I spoke with Melody yesterday, and I made her smile going to the meal. Of course, the meal people, uh, well, I don't talk about them, but, um, well, I, I mean, okay, I tend to, to be a lot like, uh, pretend about narcissists and talk too long. Okay. Like my video. Okay, but that's because I went through it, and pretend a lot narcissist keeps me there you know he he so this was supposed to be a prayer and i just ended up babbling on so i'll say what i said to make her smile um me and carol cried with her in the street we really did so we said you know i said nobody else cares for you me and carol cried seeing you walking and were hurt that you know you know we we want help you know you you to be, have the comforts of a home instead of suffering in the street like you you are she smiled i made her smile <laughs> it makes me feel great i couldn't give her a sub couldn't go buy a sub for her, but i made her smile that and that's what I have to think about not about pretend about narcissists I mean if I just think about that the whole day which is not much but that's where my energy should be going instead of my instead of pretend about narcissists going to his church today saying who knows what and then and then getting his atheist friends, and then the, the person from France, and so forth and so on, you know. Oh, the, she just, I, I am not, you know, I can't have it. I just can't have it. it. It's just way too much for anyone to do, be able to deal with. It. Um, I'm too nice of a person to... Uh, no, it's not that. It, it, it's him putting me through hell over and over and over and over and over again. Just all his lies. You don't cooperate with anybody. You're the worst person to live with. You are so ungrateful. You are so awful. Just, it's just awful. You're worthless. What have you ever done? Who have you ever helped? You helped nobody. Guess what? Unfortunately... The girl walking the streets, Melody, can't help anybody. It's obvious. Now, I can't help anybody because I'm trying to help myself. Now, she can't help anybody. And she needs a hotel for at least a month to rest. Okay? Just watching funny movies or, you know, that's what she needs. I, I can't believe she's able to walk, to be alive and, and, and make it in the hot summer. But I, probably people feel sorry for her. Now, she's really homeless. The one that I know of that I helped uh, get her cigarettes the other day when she was going to give me a dollar. I mean, just forget her. I, you know, but people give her money. She doesn't need it. That's why... You can easily say Earth is hell. Who needs it? Melody needs it. And, you know, maybe I'll just make... I mean, 